Wait, is that really true that Adam Gase is an offensive coordinator at a high school now? Probably. I like to form an emotional connection with my microphones. You love them, they'll love you. That is another big thigh episode, but you know, those are the things that we do for our fans. Do you know if when the battery dies, does it save the footage? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I've never could ask me that. that. I could get told one you. of the batter, like the plug-in. No, I yet. Just never it. did it. Order it off Amazon. Yeah, I will. I know. Just never did it. Do you need me to order it for you? No, no, no. I could do it. I could do it. There's actually something I need you to order for me. Yeah, I'm capable. That's a no. What do you mean it's a no? <laughs> like, I don't want to know. Wait, it's a no in the sense of don't tell me what it is, and I'm not ordering it for you. It's for the brand, though. I highly doubt that. Well, let's talk about it after the show. We have limited battery. Well, I'm I have I'm like I'm seven on. batteries, but. Uh, we got like 45 minutes probably, so it's like perfect. Uh, you, uh, we time it right. This is yeah. nice because the oh. thing goes in the way and like I can't really see snacks. I mean, you could put it down so you can see him if you want. Why wouldn't you want to that's see That's the actually, that's the heavy Good. duty stand. So you ask What would be legit is, is, is putting a piece of black tape, electric tape right here. See, so far since March, my 27th year on life has been pretty damn good. Feel good, look good. What? It's a little WD-40. So. What does that have to do with anything? It means I'm looking good. Oh, it's I gotta sh- I gotta shave not my- so much like I, you're ugly I shave my don't want to look though. at you. It's just and like- I just realized I said 27th year. I'm 28 years old. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I just want to start the show off by saying, all you assholes that said my, my game ball wasn't going to get auctioned off, it did. <laughs> and for $100, too. So why don't you shut the fuck up, take your miserable medicine, and shove it up your ass. I think the, uh... What was the highest bid besides 100? Five. Wow, it was a very big gap. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. No. Actually, no, I, I think I got a, I, I got a, I got a 20. I, got a t- I actually got, like, seven bids. It was pretty cool. One was for, like, 50 cents. You got seven bids that equaled up to $5. 50 cents. So honestly, yeah, like pretty the much. mailing cost. That's sick. Yeah. Postage. It'd be fun. You ever sold things on eBay? Just seeing like the bids roll in? Yeah, no, yeah. I have no idea. I have no idea. If Jack watches it, I like, got it. Like he, three or four bags. He's in the city, right, Jack? Yeah, he lives by me. Oh, I should have brought my ball. You could have gave it to him. I was thinking about that. Yeah, when you guys were like div- discussing on, on Twitter, I was like, is this a joke? Like, yeah, I just no. I live right next to him. You no. come to my apartment. Yeah. I also, I need to figure out, great segue here. I need to figure out how to, to donate it to Scott's fishbowl. Like, where? Yeah, do you guys want to do like a. Uh... FTP donation, like fifty dollars each or something. Sure. Not that like. Sure. May I put you on the spot here? No. I, I, Did you ever figure out how have to donate? To say yes. No. No. Me either. My week. My week doesn't start until here, so the workday starts. This whole episode, we're basically so talking I was, about I, yesterday. I wasn't going to figure anything out yesterday. Scott Fishbowl. You just can't figure anything out because, because it's if, if I'm it's not a weekend, so we can't do. If anything. I'm not on the I, clock at, at work, what does that have to do with work? No, 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 no. Why would I? Why I would I do that? Answer. Why would I do that? Have the answer as to why I can't do anything on a weekend. No, no, no. To figure out our salute, our problem here. So this whole episode is going to be about Scott Fish Bowl. We're going to be talking about you know everything. Yeah. We want to donate. If you know how to donate or you have donated, put the link there and tell us how. Scott's been on Nick's channel like twice. I'm sure you could just DM him. Yeah, it's not, yeah he's I very busy. <laughs> Here's the thing: during and it's Scott embarrassing Fish, to have to ask. I uh, I don't think it's I don't th- I think he'd be happy. I could DM him too. Scott Fish, big fan of why no, you can. He tells me that he listens to it, which is re- I find really funny. Trying to get it's comments, nice. stupid ass. I probably DM with Scott Fish, uh, I would say, a total of five times a year, and three of them are me telling him what picks I need to put in when I time out in the Scott mm. Fish Bowl. Yeah, I actually, time out every year. He DM'd me because uh, Adam Rank had a uh, an auto draft like slip. It took Jalen Hurts instead of Tom Brady, and then I picked after. So you had to make sure that I was like not going to take uh, the guy that he wanted. Yeah, like it wasn't. That doesn't yeah, mess yeah. up my pick. Do yeah. you know how? So you're welcome, Adam Ryan. Oh, it must be Ryan the- Scott Fish right now during in the middle oh, of this. Dude, it's like just looking insane. after everybody. Is that, yeah. like, that that gif with the SpongeBob like running around, everything's on like fire. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah, this is fun. yeah. Like, no way. I just don't have it. Like, I have too much of it. Well, there was a debacle last year with a draft. I remember like the tweets about it and everything. I can't. I shouldn't even have brought it up because I don't remember like the uh, the true story behind it. But apparently, somebody was like timed out, and then. 
They started bitching at everybody. It was like it was very ugly, and I felt very bad. I feel like something like that happens every. Year. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I, just, I remember it from last year. Sick story, dude. That was fucking. Yeah, that's riveting. why I said I shouldn't have brought it up because I don't remember was, the full. That was details. a riveting story. Thanks, snacks. For cool story. That Listen, I got one bad story a week, and that was it. All right, so you want to uh, want to get into it? Want to talk about uh, what? Let's start with what round are you in? Oh, actually, what division are you in? Why don't we talk about what the Scott Fishbowl is real quick? Well, yeah, I feel like everyone knows, but I okay. guess you can. Huge you can fantasy league, weird scoring settings. Uh, everyone, I mean, everyone's in their own twelve man league, so I guess you don't have to get too into it. But it's like nineteen hundred people. Everybody's in it. Nineteen hundred is it? I was going to ask. Opted this year. Yeah. Yeah. Nineteen yeah. twenty. Um, scoring settings are basically there's really weird. It's super flex. But the quarterback settings are like six point pass touchdowns, minus four for an interception, and then minus one for an incompletion, point five for for completing a pass. Uh, yeah, so minus one for sack, minus one for incompletion. Forgot about that. Yeah. Who's my quarterback again? Sacks matter. Oh, fuck. Oh, Derek Carr. Shit. Derek Carr does very well in this format. He's though. fine. He's good. Uh, Their offensive line blows now. He's going to get sacked all yeah, game. Does like running backs, you get one point for 10 yards rushing, two points for well, two it's, points. It's normal for everybody else, for running backs and wide receivers, mm-hmm. except there's half point for first down as well. Yes. And then tight ends get double premium. So they get full PPR and full first down points. I still don't think that makes them that much crazy value. but I think it depends it on... It does. It, it does. It, it does. Like... Well, before we talk, I won't say who I took. Yeah, but I'm in the fifth round right now. I'm at the five. I'm at the five oh nine, but it's the, the, on the clock is the five oh seven. So I'm I'm up in two picks. I might get to pick while we're actually talking about it right now. But fucking Dan Schneider from CBS definitely. Uh, I may be able to pick live on the show as well. That motherfucker's probably tucked in bed right now, like a little. A little oh, listen, Dan Schneider is part of Giants Giants Twitter, right? He's, uh, he's, he's, I don't want. He, he I don't do, want he does Giants good Twitter work. like yelling at me. He so does good I work. Say hey, we're we're insane. Let's yeah, let's start with what division you're like in. I'm in the Frank Sinatra division. James Brown. He's the best one. That's pretty cool, but that is cool. Sinatra's better. Oh, I'm in I 21 agree. Pilots. Lame. Who's that? Lame as shit. It's unfortunate. I, don't even know. I think it's some band. I don't know. They, they probably have some good songs. That I've, like, I've they probably heard, have like, good, I don't know the name. from like the summer of like 2011 or something like that. Oh, graduation hey. year, baby. Speaking of which, I got I got put in charge of putting together my reunion. I'm really excited about it. Interesting. Interesting. Well, right, it's not so, just me. It's me and a few, few of my lady friends. Should be a good time. You know how I know you're lying? Well, I, I could show you the Facebook group. You don't have group. lady friends. Oh, I got two of them sitting next to me. <laughs> let's uh, let's start with where are you drafting from? Uh, I had the ninth spot. You had the ninth spot. I'm at the 12th spot, which is, by the way, the best spot for the Scott Fishbowl because you spot. get the double pick and then you get to go on with your day. <clears throat> I didn't know about the third round reversal until we were in yeah. the third reversal was huge. That threw me off, I, too. I hated that. I had, the one, I had the four. So I was like four back into the second round and then also didn't get to pick again yeah. until the back end of the third round. I had <sighs> three, like, picks in the top 25 i don't ha- actually hate that rule overall it just fucked me this time if you're not used to it, it throws you off for sure it's a little weird yeah because you're you're basically but also th- w- i think it's less relevant in this type of league because the tiers of players like in a yeah, normal league gonna... you'd be like oh this tier just stopped and i got fucked yeah. but in this league there's you, no one goes there's no adps like people just drafting mm-hmm. wild ass players all the time so it's not like you're losing value by having to move back in the third round or whatever you know i just like it because for the 12 spot it's definitely an advantage yeah, that you got you got lucked out there. I didn't luck out. I knew that was happening, and I purposely did that. It's uh, called sharp. I did, Damn, it's called being a sharp. Oh, so you sharp. like actually? Yeah, had a plan behind that. Yeah, for sure. All right, so yeah, I'm in the 12 spot. The one league he has a plan in. I'll start it off. I'll get the <laughs> flow going. My uh, league Sinatra division. I uh, oh big names. Oh, hold on, last thing. Any big names in any of your? No, nah, I got none. I got, I, um, I might actually. Don't, don't you know? You don't be selling people short here. No, I mean, they're all big names. I actually don't think I know anyone. They're all big. I, I just don't. I didn't know him, like, off the top of my head. I have Adam Rank. He um, He's a bitch because he said the Broncos were going to go 2-14 and 14 last year. And they didn't, so screw him. Actually, that's that's a great. Well, oh, you said last year. Because remember, he did 3-13 and 13 for the Niners, and they went to the Super Bowl. Yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> he, yeah that's why I don't like him. Adam so, Rank, can you please say the Giants guy, are going to go 1-16? One, uh, one he's a good guy. So they go 16-1? and one? But um, All right, so yeah. Sinatra division, I have the 12 spot. I had eight quarterbacks go in the first round before me. I was going to take Justin Herbert, my first pick, and he went at the 11 spot right before me, so I had to pivot. I went Matt Stafford. I know everyone's going to say, oh, it's so early. Like He went in the third in mine. Whatever. So, oh, so Stafford was your first pick. Yeah, at the oh, 112, and then yeah. I went Aaron Rodgers at 2 I wonder if you were – you know what's cool about this as well? Like, people start making tools and apps around the Scott Fishbowl. So there's probably an app that, like – 
someone made on Twitter where we could. I feel like you're probably the person who took Matt Stafford the earliest out of all. Oh, I two hundred leagues. Um, maybe, but I looked at um. Well, unless they had similar drafts where eight the, quarterbacks. The go, PFF but. projections. He's projected to be a top ten scoring in this format. So yeah, I don't. I don't doubt it. Like I'm not saying it's a bad pick. I just like interesting. People start doing a bunch of weird shit around. Oh, who is the sure. consensus number one? Well, well, I consensus. Pat Mahomes went one. C-Mac in mine. went one in mine, but I think for the most part, Mahomes. Mahomes, yeah, one. Mahomes yeah. went one in mine. Mahomes is brought because it's uh, where did uh, I quarterbacks keep... have you know? Well, here's so the thing about the like last last games year, in Scott. Fitzball. Like my first two, maybe two of my first three picks were Brady and Breeze because it was a, it was a situation last year where accuracy mattered and you don't want an incomplete pass. Yeah, br- and completions. And they, had, they had weeks where they would put up ninety between the two of them. Brady would put up often. twenty completions a game. You know, yeah. it's like twenty. They'd have like right forty-five there. to fifty points a, a thing. But it's what makes it so volatile is because if you have a bad quarterback, they can get you negative points. Yes, yeah, so happened I, to me multiple. So times. What happened to me last year in my final round? I uh, had Derek Carr had like a four interception game or something. Doesn't make me feel better. And lost like I think he had like one point he finished with. It was like terrible. So. Yeah, this league is a problem. It was uh, that can so that can hard screw you. Uh, uh, okay, so tight ends like we said, double premium. Where did where did you guys have Kelsey go? Five, five. He went he went second in mine. I was at four. I took Dalvin. See that I think is a little. I feel like that's crazy. Kelsey went six. Yeah, I mean I took Waller at nine, so I, it's. That's what went in mind, too. I feel like the first round is pretty much the same throughout. Where did uh, Stafford go in yours, by the way? I'm just curious. 310. He went 310 in yours. So I took Mixon at 39, and Stafford went Oh, wow. Stafford went. But when did Tannehill go in yours? Early. 2-8. Yeah, Tannehill went 3-3 three, three in mine. Stafford went 3-3 three, three in mine, and Tannehill went 3-7. Tannehill went 2-8, and I took Aaron Rodgers 2-9. Damn, I definitely probably reached on Stafford, like, according to ADP for, like, Scott Fishball. If you were, like, 3-1, if you knew you were 3-1, you probably could have got Stafford. It could have been a panic. Well, see, I went, uh, we'll get there. I, I don't know if he could have got I, Stafford there if he had eight quarterbacks going the for, before him. The problem was I had the third round reversal. Not that it was a problem, but, like, I had my 3-1 that I wasn't picking for a while. So, I, t- I took Waller at 1-9 because I, I really, I wanted in my mind that I, I knew it wasn't going to happen, but Kyler, Lamar, Mahomes, Allen, and maybe even Dak, hoping one of them fell to me so I could take them at nine. And when they when they didn't, I'm like, I'm not gonna take, I'm not gonna take like Barkley or Kamara or somebody there. Might as well take the the tight end who I think is gonna be great in this format. So I took Waller. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I mean, like, I don't hate it. I don't I love like it. The tight ends are super overvalued. Like everyone's hyping them up too Same. much. They're always they're going to be like, oh well, he would have been like the wide receiver two last year. And I'm just like, but I didn't want to use. Yeah, the but like I didn't take the wide receiver until the ninth right. round. Exactly. So, like, right, right. so he took a tight end in the first. Like, like I get it, but I think people are. I was reading some threads from people that are like really into this shit, and they're like, this is basically like a normal super flex league where you should be valuing quarterbacks, running backs yeah. at the top again. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm taking like. like Eight quarterbacks. I could have. I could have taken. I maybe I should have. I almost double tapped Kamara and where Dalvin Cook goes. Derrick Henry, like one hundred five, seven, one hundred five. Yeah, I took him one hundred four. I was like, give me my fucking first running back. I could have taken Russ. Maybe that's what I should have. So done. I went. So my team so far, I went Dalvin Cook at the one hundred four. Aaron Rodgers two hundred nine. Joe Mixon three hundred nine. Uh, Chris Carson four four. I feel like I'm gonna regret the Carson pick. It didn't feel good making it. This was simply just. Uh, I wanted. I had Jalen Hurts and Antonio Gibson in my queue, and they both went right before that. I was like ecstatic if Gibson fell to me at four four. I missed on that, uh, and then there were still so many like the wide receivers that were available there when I took Carson, Hopkins, Calvin Ridley, Justin Jefferson, DK Metcalf, AJ Jesus. Brown, like all of the top Michael, like all the top wide receivers were there. I'm just like I don't. There's I'm, no point taking. I'm one just going to take eight wide receivers later, you know, yeah. and they're all just going to be like fuck. They'll be whatever. fine. If it was yeah. full PPR, maybe I think fun. differently. But I like, don't plan on taking wide receivers like the tenth round. Yeah, and the other thing too, half PPR and half point for first down favors the running backs double. You oh, get yeah, without a doubt. Running back, like, for sure. And I, that's why I kind of like Carson there, too. That's so, why I wanted to mix in, too, because he's, like, a kind of a pounder as well. Where did Saquon go for you guys? Out of curiosity. Because I took him 2-4. Two, two that's, that's where he went. went mine, 2-4. Yep. Wow, look at that. Yeah, okay. we're 2-4. Two, four, two, four, Sounds four. about right. So, it seems like the first... So, that's what was... So, in, in, 16, in my... 16, 17 uh, picks were around We the had, a, like, a quarterback run in the first round and then a running back run in the second round. Yeah. Like, so... <sighs> Where's the early... Where's the first wide receiver off the board for you guys? Two eleven. Same Tyree Kill. Yep. Same. Two ten. DeAndre Hopkins, Jeez. who stacked with he has Kyler, so that's wow. like why DeAndre he Hopkins did it. fell to the four seven in mine. Yeah, I saw DeAndre Hopkins fall to the fourth round in a couple of leagues on Twitter. This was just like a full non wide. It was like Tyree Kill at the two eleven, D Adams at the three four, and then not another wide receiver until like the four seven. Yeah, we're in the so we're in the fifth round halfway through right now, and there's like no quarterbacks left. 
Someone, ben Roethlisberger just went. I'm two like picks away. Round. Ben Roethlisberger went in the 504 in my that's mind. Above Baker that's Mayfield. Wild. Baker's going to fall to me. That's it's, crazy. Take, I think it's the worst pick. Baker's ever projected seen. to do very well in this format. Fantasy, I feel like Big Ben's going to be terrible. Baker is my quarterback. Yeah, that's a great pick. I'm hoping that, so right now we're to I got six, Baker 4-9. No one took Trey Lance yet either. We were talking about I'm, before. I think he got, he's the perfect Scott Fish pick. He's we available were, in mine. I'm we were talking him. about before, like I would love him or maybe maybe even Fields too as like my third quarterback. Fields just went off at 5-6. Wow. I still have both of them. I have Trey Lance and Justin Fields are still on the on my board, and I'm in the eighth round. Well, here's, that's the thing with this league. You're playing against so many people that the only way you win it is if you just hit on some lucky-ass shit. You yeah. Need to, you need to hit on the most upside. Think, you, you probably have to draft upside, and then all the upside needs to hit in right. order for you to win. Right. So that's why Trey Lance, I feel like, is a perfect pick in this format. Yeah, I had a, a, a pick that I'm, I'm not really worried about, but it's, uh, it's one of those ones that Javante Williams... He could either be like a huge hit or just like. Not I feel like you went early on him. Where you took him in the fourth, right? Four twelve. Yeah, I, I mean, mean obviously, four, if he hits his upside, then like the you're problem is it's four twelve five one. So like, I, he's not going to make it back to me at the six twelve five one. He doesn't make it back to me at the six twelve. Like Mike Davis went in the six one. So like, you know, there's no way. I, I but I I also if it makes you feel better, I took I oh. took Javante Williams the six nine. Well, I was just saying I wouldn't get him at the six twelve, so no, it doesn't make me feel any better. Well, where'd, where'd Hawkinson go for you guys? Uh, I mean, if it makes you feel better that a, that a winner has him on the team, f- five ten. That's ridiculous. What about you? Uh, I'm looking now. I went to three six in mine. I thought I was gonna be able to get him in the fourth. Carson five. Wentz going yours yet? I was hoping he would get to me at the six twelve. He went fucking five eleven. No, nah, he didn't get picked yet. But I'm only at the five six. I was uh. My, Hawkinson my, went five so, one. What was your strategy going into it? Because mine was basically just QB running back heavy right away. I didn't even know. I was like hungover. <laughs> you didn't even know you were in the Scott Fishbowl. I was, yeah. I bar- I didn't, I never clicked the link and I was just hoping it never registered me as a team. And then I woke <laughs> up and then I see everybody like, happy Scott Fish Day. I'm like, fuck you guys. And then, uh, and then I was Seems a little mean. Then I got an email that was like, I'm on the clock. I was like, shit. So I didn't have a strategy other than I'm just like... I really didn't have a strategy either. I wanted... Yeah, you're just getting drunk. The points I feel like were a little bit less weird this year than they were last year. Unless I'm... Am I wrong? I'm sorry, what? So you're just getting drunk and making picks. Am I wrong? Yeah, that's how you celebrate Scott Fishbowl Day. Well... By the way, Mr. Fish... Bull... Um... (laughs) (laughs) Mr. Fish... Bull... (laughs) Can we not do it the day after the 4th of July next year, please? Can we not do it next year? <laughs> I feel like that's like uh, it's the day that's every year, right? I, I don't know. July? Know. It pisses me off. I've only been in year. two years, so I don't know. But um, all right, yeah. So, I don't remember what I did yesterday. QB so RB heavy is my strategy. Yeah, was like I was just going to draft normally regardless. I just wasn't sure what quarterbacks I should be going after. My biggest problem right now, I'm struggling, so I'm coming up and have my two picks again. I want to take obviously one quarterback and one running back, but I don't know with the fa- the fact that there's like no quarterbacks left already. It's really how many quarterbacks you got? I have, have two, two already. Why are you fretting so much about? He was going to have quarterback four. quarterback again, which was a little excessive. I want to have four quarterbacks. You don't need to have fucking yeah, I don't think you need. Well, four. I think I can get Fitz late. You know? I'm going to be honest with you. This I've done this league two, was it three? I, at least two years in a row, and there are always people are not as active on the waiver wire oh, in I this know. league as you think. You could pick up quarterbacks on the waiver wire. You can pick up. Running backs on the waiver wire and stuff. Yeah, like I'll draft like Teddy or Drew you would think you would think you know? that you're fucked. Like if if you miss the waiver wire, or like don't pick I'm up. Definitely somebody. taking one more quarterback. Yeah, I'm definitely mean, taking like Daniel Jones. Probably. Last year, what I did was like Drew Brees, Tom Brady, really early, and then I got like Gardner Minshew like later, and he was like my third quarterback, and he yeah. was fine for a while, obviously, but didn't work out in the long. So so far, hear my team out. Is, I'm, I got five players; they're all very good. Got Aaron <laughs> Rodgers, Matt Stafford, Cam Akers, J.K. Dobbins, and Javonta Williams. Yeah, I like that. It's a good squad. So that's far. nice. Yeah, the, so it's got a lot of flash. I definitely like a, a most of your team. Like Dobbins is a guy who loses a big time value in this because first down and PPR. Like he's not a good person for either of those it's stats. Great for PPR. Great. Didn't Dobbins catch like four passes? He's going to be great for PPR this year. I heard there's rumors that they want to get their running backs more involved. Just like the rumors of uh, the Chargers that want to run the offense through Justin Herbert. Did you? See no, they want to run their off- they want to run their offense through Mike. Kidding me? Through Mike Williams. <laughs> Sharp. I just wrote a poem about Mike Williams the other day. I'm gonna you should probably film keep it, it soon. Keep it to yourself. Is Javante Williams like gonna be? Is he gonna be good? He is good. 
<laughs> he hasn't what played, do you mean? He hasn't played it down in the NFL yet. I don't I know. I don't care. He's good. Yes, yeah, Snacks, what kind of statement is that? That's such a boomer statement. So here's it's not the, a boomer. He hasn't, he hasn't played, played in the NFL. Here's the thing for running back. What do you mean, so what? It doesn't matter. It's about the line. That's it. Like most well, of Dem- these guys, Denver's is pretty mediocre. Most of these guys can hit a hole and then and then run. So like if he, as long as Javante Williams can hit a part. hole and the line makes one, he'll be fine. What do you guys think of Chase Edmonds? Look at Todd Gurley. Absolutely not here. How early? No, don't draft him there. Was Todd Gurley right, good I'm or did the Rams just put absolutely not huge mm-hmm. holes on the field? I was thinking about it. My next pick. Just saying. Todd Gurley was like exceptional. In holes prime. matter. They do, but he was exceptional. All three. Hmm. What's your what's your third favorite hole animal? Probably butt. <laughs> I meant on the offensive line. <laughs> Probably butt. Yeah, definitely butt. Well, you have two holes before. <laughs> yeah. I got it. Mouth, China. Are we talking about the same holes now? I feel like we went way off the rails. Holes are good. I was talking about my favorite hole is going to be the one I'm in in the grave. <laughs> <laughs> Should do a herd of goats. Scott Fish Herd hole. of goats best holes. Scott Fish hole. Yeah. <laughs> Scott Fish best hole. Yeah, Speaking of holes. That's fire. Herd of goats, best holes. Ooh. Yeah. Holy shit. All right. There's so many. Get ready for it next week. It's got magnet potential. Guess we could spell both ways, right? What? Like Whole Foods. <laughs> like W H O L E and H O L E. Not bad. That's like, yeah, that opens it, up the that's like that's you just wa- added half PPR. Get ready for get ready. Draft. Get ready for next week. Holy best shit. holes. Fuck yeah. hole. I'm, I don't I'm not going pervert either, so right. the women's are out of it. All right, I'll take three of them. Well, good, then I'll, I'll win. fucking easily win, yeah. Bucky! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. They're not going to be involved. Getting fucking does, the, does the word have to have hole in it, though? Like, if you say pussy, like... <gasps> no, 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 no. No, it has to be a hole. A hole. No, Could no, be no, Whole Foods. No, it's not going to be Whole Foods. It ain't going to be on my be list, though. Let's, uh... Just so you guys know, we're back in the dungeon for the first time in a while. I, I'm pretty sure that, like... They might have noticed. It's kind of self-explanatory. No, no, because this has been no, Animal's they House didn't set, notice. and if not, everybody that watches FDP watches Animal's House, I mean, they might not know. True, but that's factual. I mean, this clearly I'm really is my shit today. New York City apartment. <laughs> this is the dungeon. This is the dungeon. And I feel contaminated just from being here. I've been here. thinking about repainting, by the way. I'm thinking about going gray. Why? Well, Can we do pinstripes? It's just too much. Yellow's a lot. It, it makes you feel like you're on a movie set rather than whole rather than was, living in your home. The whole point was I was hoping it would bring energy. Like everyone, it's bright and like you're ready to just, you know, do shit. Yeah, what you find you find out real quickly yeah. is that's like all light. Oh, shit, Samaji P. Like, yeah, still on the board. People light come in drunk, stuff. they don't care. They're just yeah. like, no energy anyway, so, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I have more energy than your fucking slob ass. Please, never. So, uh, moving on. Shmish portion. I, I'm actually going to be picking soon. I'm trying to stall until we get to that point so I can make a live pick. Maybe you guys can help me uh, through it. Um, any, did we go through our whole teams? Did you like run through your whole team? So I told you my whole team. I don't remember. Snax is the furthest ahead of us, right? I did. I, I am, yes. Cook, Rogers, Mixon, Carson. Three running backs and a quarterback. You should get more quarterbacks. How, who's left in yours at, at the quarterback position? You I don't even Baker. know how to like, check. And there's just still a lot of players left. Trust uh, me, quarterbacks... Are important. All right, so I, I got Carr, Baker, Saquon, Hunt, Javante, Kittle, and Waller. Damn, we got a big team. You got Kittle and Waller? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Spicy. Um, yeah. It wasn't my preference, but when I saw Kittle in the third, I'm like, fuck. Ooh. Baker's like the the Baker's the quarterback I kind of need here. He's definitely You need like, a quarterback badly. He's definitely like the last tier of quarterbacks here that should be drafted, and I, I have two more picks until I'm up. Don't let him slip. Um, but well, he's going to take him if, if he gets to me. So my running backs, I don't, I, like, I, I, I'm, I'm banking on a, a rookie and Javante and then Kareem, who I feel like Chubb will miss at least two games, so that'll help those weeks and get some receiving work and whatnot. And Saquon, who I expect to be fine. So I'm content. I, I, li- I like the team. Kittle, Waller, I like. Uh, I like having Baker. Carr's pretty good in this format, so it's all right, too. Um yeah, I'll probably win the whole thing, but it's just, you know. Whatever. I'm in a big dilemma because I'm about to be on the clock. Well, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. It depends on how that for goes. 40 fucking minutes. I know, I know. Because sometimes these things the happen fast. probably fall asleep. He's not drafting right now. You're fucked. It's true. It's 10-13. Shit. Um, but anyway, so. Yeah, it's 10-13. So, what I'm thinking here is I want to fuck either take Daniel Jones and a running back or two running backs as in James Robinson and Ronald Jones. But I don't know. I, I feel, would take. I, feel I would like take. You shouldn't do that. I would take Jones and then Gary Brightwell. I just want. Why do you want to take James Robinson and why once. do you want to? Why do you want to take James Robinson and Ronald Jones? Because there's no one left. They're all gone. Running backs. Who are the other running backs left? That's that's when you probably start. Travis Etienne, Trey Sermon, Michael Carter. Hold up. 
So it's the rookies. Chase Edmonds. <laughs> You wouldn't you wouldn't rather Edmonds and ETN than fucking James Robinson and Ronald Jones? No, James Robinson is going to be the starter there. Everyone's just like hating on him for no reason. Is he? He's not yeah. going to catch any passes. I don't care. He's going to get a ton work. of first downs. I don't know, dude. I think that and I think you, I think you're at the tier where you pivot to other positions. Because think how many flex players you're going to need. Like you can start you have tight no, ends. Wait, you have no tight ends yet. Fuck tight ends. Who's left on tight end? I think you should. Ton of tight ends. I think you should start thinking about a tight end. There's tons. Of, there's tight ends everywhere. Maybe is Goddard out there? No, Goddard's there, of course. Okay, Goddard's then. there. Well, Vant is there. All right, then what wide receivers are there? Wide well, receivers are there. Tons. There's all the wide receivers. They're everywhere. You should start I'm taking, taking wide receivers to the tenth round. There's everybody in every position. They're everywhere. You're gonna go for, if you're going to go for upside, take fucking Sermon. The top take ten, Sermon. The top ten wide receivers are gone. I'm not taking Sermon. The top ten wide receivers are gone. That's basically it. Kasicki, Tunyon, uh, all these Hunter Henry, Gronk, all these tight ends are here. Komet, Troutman. There's tight ends everywhere in this, in this, in this there? draft. Who? Rudolph. Just for once, a serious. I think I'm going to take Miles Sanders. He's still there, I think. No, he's gone. Sanders is way gone. Keenan Allen's there. I'm not Keenan Allen's way gone. Mine too. Yeah, Keenan went. I didn't say him. he's not. He's available to me. Jason Sanders kicker very. Uh, hey Dan, sneaky. can you tell your fucking boy Dan Schneier Schneer to fucking draft? Follows me. I could DM if you want me to. Yeah, do tell it. him. Tell him I'm. I'm not, not going to do it. Um. By the not way, you th- what do you think people kickers? Think? Yeah. No, I'm good. Do you want to get into it? <clears throat> no. So you can you, draft you, kickers. You, you don't have, have to. to you could play four of them too. You don't have to start any of them, but you can flex as many as four people. Four of them, so you yeah. can flex four kickers. I don't know why anyone would fucking do that. It's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Jason Sanders is apparently a sneaky kicker pick. Because if you miss a field goal, it's minus three points, right? It's a tip. Is it minus three points? So say you go yeah. fucking two for four on a day, like you're getting fucking negative one points. I'll take Venetari. He hasn't missed since fucking. Is he even still playing? I have no idea. Probably. No, I retired. But I think if you get like Didn't a, retire a that field loser goal McAfee is show? three points plus the yards, right? So like if it's a 47 yarder, it's 4.7 plus three points. Wait, if or, that's the case, wait, then wait, I'm going to start wait. drafting kickers. Hold up. There's no way that's possible. I don't think that's right. I got the score. Because if that's the case, here. I'm, I'm going to start two kickers. No, it's just a decimal. So if it's a 47 yard field goal, it's 4.7 points. Oh, yeah, no. I, yeah. I, when I, I, thought I was going to say, that would be something Scott Fish would do, though. That would be something it, yeah. he would do. And you would have kickers going it. in like the, the sixth round. I yeah. thought there was going to be kickers going in the fourth. That's I thought someone, I heard someone took Young Way Koo in the first. Was yeah, but someone also took girl? fucking Odell Beckham in the. As yeah, wide you saw four, that. And then he took Cole Beasley in the fourth round. Well, he's just a dick. Oh, he's stuck. I wonder if he's going to get kicked. Hey, he won't be invited next year. Yeah. Just picking shit players for no reason. Cole Beasley? Well, in the fifth round is very, very early. Fourth First round. of all, fourth, and second of all, no, it's not. What? I take, I take him late third. Just once. <laughs> all right. Um, Any press is good press. We should have done that. We should, all should have just done obnoxious-ass drafting strategies and just been, like, the only thing people talked about on yeah, Twitter. Yeah, I'm taking six quarterbacks. For 48. <laughs> <laughs> all, back, I'm, I'm all backups. All backups. No, I'm about to snag uh, Daniel Jones and Sam Darnold. Well, I was just gonna say, you think like people, you think people in the Scott Fish like know part. no BDGE well? Not the same draft? No. What? He was saying <laughs> Sam Donald, Daniel Jones, same draft class, but yeah, no, I was Donald the year, the year before because yeah. they should. Darnold taken, was the year before, yeah. The Giants should have taken Darnold. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad they I didn't. Mean, well, yeah. at the time, hey, I'm glad it's they so didn't. funny you look back and it's just like nothing. Yeah, I'm glad it did, they nothing didn't. mattered. It was just maybe a push. though. No, what they should have done was trade back, or they should have just taken Quentin Nelson there. Or maybe Josh Allen, but if he was on the Giants, he wouldn't be Josh Allen today. Anyway, uh, what were you saying? I don't remember. All right, I mean, I think that's pretty much it. I'm not. You guys have a good fourth pick for uh, Scott Fishball right now because yeah. I roasted on the beach all day, got hammered, met a lot of cool people. Um, I don't like meeting new people. It's all right sometimes. I'm done. I got, I got, I got the core of people I like, love, want to see. So you just don't want to meet any more new people. I'm done. Well, that's fair. I think there's a lot of interesting people out there to probably meet still. You're young. Uh, so I don't feel young. My body's been aching. For we were uh, here right now. We were Tony. We were sitting by like we were standing by like the water, and uh, this dude comes up to us and goes up to Tony and as this random dude we hadn't spoken to him. He was in, like a different friend group or whatever, and he was like, "Hey, my uh, my friend thinks you're really cute." To Tony. To Tony. Oh, my, so he was playing a joke on huh? my my oh, friend yeah. thinks you're really cute. Well, first he came up. He says, "Are you gay?" And we, I knew the guy, when the guy came up, he was gay. So I was like, oh, he's asking for him. And Tony was like, no. And uh, and the guy was like, okay, perfect, because my friend over there thinks you're really cute. So I was like, oh, you were asking for you if he was gay, but you are asking for your friend if you weren't gay. So 
so we're like, oh, cool, Tony, like, go hang out with a girl or whatever. So he brings, a, and, she, and of course, you know, every girl or every friend lies about their friend that's a girl. It's like, oh, she's so beautiful. Yeah. She's yeah, so yeah. pretty and shit like that. It's like, oh, my, my beautiful friend. Yeah, I hope, like, they don't find this and watch it. I feel like I, <laughs> by the end of the day, I probably like, gave it my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, hey, subscribe to the channel. 100%. Yeah, I was like racking up subs that day. <laughs> um, yeah, so, she, so he was like, oh, my beautiful friend, like, thinks you're really cute. You know, you guys should, like, hang out or whatever. So I was like, yeah, Tony, do it. So she, like, brings her over, and it's just like. Boy. Not a boy, just. No, just, no, no. I said, like, oh, like oh boy. boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. yeah, just, like, if you were to ask me to put together the ideal chick against me, not for me, this would be her. And I was like, fuck. So Tony got, like, swindled into, like, going to the ocean with her for a little while. <laughs> it was, like, the most uncomfortable shit ever. Oh, uh, poor like, guy. Walked, well, you know like, what? I'm to not- the- Ocean they like kind of walked over to their own, yeah, to their oh, own thing. Man, he had to like oh, give her the time man. of day. Well, okay, all right, all right. Well, I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not an attractive person. Neither yeah. are you. So it's like, <laughs> so it's like <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> where is this going? I don't want to make fun of a woman's looks because well, I'm, so, I'm ugly as sin. It, it wasn't so much about her looks. Like some, you might actually might have thought she was cute, but it was just like funny that he came over and was like my beautiful friend. And then me and Tony were both like hyped oh, it up, to, hyped fuck. it up to be like, like yeah. Natalie Next. Portman. And then it was yeah. yeah. The, the thing is, Kate here Winsley. we didn't actually see what she looks like, so right. we're not really. No, that's true. That's true. Making fun. And of you're what not she looks ugly, like. either, animal. You're a good looking guy. No, I'm not ugly. You don't have to tell me that, <laughs> jackass. <laughs> you think I'm ugly? A little bit. I hope that Mike picked up that little sneer that you made right there. I think for a redhead, I'm kind of handsome. See, that's the thing, though. You have to preface by saying for a redhead, which is just I think never she was good. redhead, too. Oh! Uh, she was redhead, like, way paler than you. Oh! There you go. Uh, looks straight from, like, Alabama. Out. Yeah. Yikes. Out. You're not All from right. Jersey. Get out. That's, uh... Do you have a, um... Snacks pantry. I do, yes. For us, I brought uh, it up today. a few weeks ago. And Is you guys... there any final uh, things for Scott Fishwell? No, it's sure. just it's it's a good thing. It's All a good right. thing for charity. Thank you, Scott, for inviting us. Go, do- go donate. Yes, go donate. We're going to once we figure out. All right, so I brought this up when we did a pantry uh, <laughs> last time. We were we were in the city, and you guys were mad that I didn't I didn't do this one. So I what is this one? I'm doing it now. You probably forget. Top five breakups in sports that are like memorable, you know, like they broke up from their team or, or something like that. Teammates, whatever. All right, I'll, I'll, like I'll go one close to close to home. I don't know if you're gonna agree with this, but I think there's there's probably a few that you guys aren't gonna agree. Okay, with. Okay, well, I th- I thought personally when uh, when Westbrook Harden and KD broke up from the OKC. Okay yeah, I, I, that's that is close to our few. That it's a bad one, especially when they traded Harden. That one and picture of them Vodka. together were in the finals and they look like they're like 17. 17 years old, yeah. yeah it's not on the list, but that is a tough one. I'm actually interested to hear like what you guys think of So here's what's too. annoying is like this is this should be on the list, but you're not going to have it on there. Le- LeBron leaving Cleveland. That's number 1. Is it? Yeah. That's wow. the worst breakup ever. The wow. Way he, the well, way- you're the most biased person ever. This I, is Snacks Pantry. I, under- I understand that, but it, it, it involves me, too. Okay. When you think about it, because well, I, he was coming in the Knicks. I cracked my TV screen. Well, I think you were there for that, too. When I took the crowbar, I cracked my TV screen, and then I blasted my laptop into number submission. One we, usually don't, we usually don't start out with number one. We yeah. Number one answer off the board. Number one, we usually oh, never get number LeBron one. LeBron and Cleveland. What, yeah. Oh, we could have utilized this. What huh? a pe- well, I guess we will. Like will. Like will. He could just what put like a, a BDG piece, logo for this. What a it. piece of shit he was for doing that. You want to leave Cleveland? Fine. I get it. They didn't build a winner around you. You're a loser. You couldn't win on your own. I get it all. I get it all. Most overrated athlete ever. I get it. But to go on national television and do that, always claiming, oh, I'm a Cleveland boy. I'm a Ohio boy. Fuck you, LeBron. You miserable little cock. Number one. Okay. Interesting. You got one? There's only one that we were really probably won't remember. Like, like a we were, I, I th- I'm pretty sure we were, we're a lot, we're alive. Well, then you know no, 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 what? No, 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 you shouldn't no, have no. on the list because no, 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 no. We were alive, but we don't really remember. But it's very famous. About Jordan going to baseball? No, that's not bad though. But he was doing that because he was a degenerate like gambler. Teams that split up. No, there there's any, no wrestling. There's, no, there's wrestling? no wrestling. Okay. All right. Since since there's definitely been a lot, I'll give you guys a hand. There's three more football and one more basketball. I didn't want to do baseball because I didn't think you guys would get those. Three more football and one more basketball. Yeah. Okay. The number one answer is off the board. Number one answer is off the board. Number two should be pretty obvious, You're too. You're welcome. Uh, well, is it Michael Jordan and the Bulls? Ooh, Brady and Brady. the Pats. 
No, I didn't think that was like the like worst because it was pretty civil. It seemed like they both Fair. wanted new things. See, like I was gonna say, Mike like, Smith and the Falcons. I was gonna say Mike Vick and the Falcons, but like that wasn't like a no breakup. That no, was, that, that's just that was so, his own. That was a legal issue. It's a, a little yeah. legal issue. Yeah, Mike Vick and freedom. Yeah, All that's right. that's a good one too. To let me know when you guys want a hint. One, the reason I bring this up is because Aaron Rodgers and it's the, the was, yeah. talking point yeah. of yeah, what's yeah. going on in the NFL. Really, that's the only thing. I mean, is it? Are you gonna have Odell on the Giants? Absolutely not. That was right. a beautiful. That was a blessing in disguise. Yeah, no, you hate Odell. Okay, think Aaron Rodgers. I was gonna say Brett Favre. Football. Number two, man, yeah. Brett Favre and the Packers. Yeah, that's what I thought so. A yeah. legendary guy who retires, comes back. Tires again. He wants to. He wants to go play for Minnesota. And Green Bay says, "No, fuck you. I'm trading you the Jets. Not releasing you so you can go play for Minnesota." That's a that's a bad breakup. I guess he was just like so old in his career. But at he that was point. he was still pretty awesome. So I well, it just didn't come he, to thought right now because he brought the Vikings that, to the that, NFC Championship. That, that, that a, came to my mind immediately. I, can we go back to the basketball one? Yeah. Is KD by himself on it? No. No. I was gonna. I was gonna do that, but he. Him leaving OKC, I feel like maybe again this is a personal thing, but like that was the cuntiest thing. It was, it was, uh, and some you could argue it was well, worse than LeBron. Because he went to Golden State, it was worse. Yeah. You could yeah. argue it was worse than LeBron's. I, yeah. I think it is losing three one and then going to Golden State. I just, I, I KD has surpassed most athletes. I hate. And I, just, right. I didn't want to give him any airtime. So we have two more football, one more basketball. Yes, three, four, five. I, I, I think basketball you'll get. Think. Think some dynasties early when we were like younger. What about Kawhi Leonard leaving the Spurs? Stop, no, stop. that's that's a good one. That was very ugly. Uh, um, I mean, like Kobe and Shaq split. Yeah, Kobe and Shaq number five, and it was bad. It, no, it was yeah. bad. Shaq, Shaq was getting way too tired of Kobe being the new head honcho there, and I, I don't, Shaq was I don't still actually dominant. like really remember Shaq the Fort, split the, as much as like I just remember they had problems. I, I just remember it being on Sports Center twenty four seven, and yeah. it was ugly because they hated each other for a long time. And then go back and you hear about how much they hated each other during it. And, you know, I mean, obviously, God bless his soul, Kobe, rest in peace. But they, they you know, they reconciled and everything, which is good. But in that moment, they could have easily won two or three more championships, too. So, Well, it wasn't ugly, though. Uh, it was ugly. No, I was going to say Pete Carroll and USC. No, that that was that was pretty, no. Because that was, like, ugly after, right? It was ugly after, yeah. But And there was there was another college one I wanted to put on there, but I didn't think you would get it. It was Lane Kiffin in Tennessee, which mm. was really bad. That would have actually been good. Really bad, yeah. yeah. So there's no college football in Tennessee? No, nah, there's no college. I, right. Honestly, college like Joe Paterno and Penn State. Chipping away. Hey. Yeah, I was going to say, it's college. Yeah. So you got three and four left, two football. And I'll say, one's a player, one's a coach. All right, now we're, now we're talking. Uh, how old is the coach? Like, how old is this from? This is... 99 in the or late night. Belichick and the Browns. Oh. And the Jets. Oh, the Jets. Yeah, there you yeah, go. That's right. The Jets. Because he, he, he was there for a day. Belichick and the that's Jets. That's what I was, was gonna say. For was a day. I was gonna say who was yes. the coach that was uh who was like that was this was like semi recently that he like agreed to, Giants, to right? be the that was that no McDaniels. McDaniels, McDaniels. yeah. He, yeah, he yeah. agreed to be Denver's uh that's what I was Indianapolis's yeah. coach yeah, and yeah, then back then. Yeah. Yeah, well, so wait, it was the Jets. Yeah, that's right. It was the Jets, and the he Jets. wrote on like a piece of paper, "I am yeah, yeah. resigning." Or something. then he went back. He, the to pre- the- like the press conference was all set up, did and he, he's like, "Nope." Did he go back to the Giants? No, he went. He went right to the Patriots. Went right, oh, to, he Patriots. Went to Patriots. Yeah. After that, well, I mean, Parcells really fucked the Giants because Belichick was. He came he, from he, the Giants, right? He came from the Giants. Yeah. Well, no, he came. I'm pretty sure he went Browns. went to the Browns. D coordinator Giants went to the Browns. Parcells retired after Belichick took the Browns job. And Belichick always said, I don't know if you watched that 30 for 30 with him and Parcells. He's like, Giants were my dream job. I was waiting for Bill to step yeah. down. And he, Bill Parcells, fucked him. Didn't want to ruin his own legacy with the Giants. So thanks a lot, Bill. Could have had a lot more Super Bowls, dumb motherfucker. One more player? One more. And this is, uh, <laughs> this one's probably a little difficult. How about Le'Veon Bell? No, yeah, that's a good one, though. That is, I, I thought about putting that one on because that was a whole mess. He sat out a year. Yeah. That, that uh, but the Steelers messy. were done with it. They were like, all right, fuck yeah. this. I'm not paying you. Um, hmm. Well, I, the only reason I, I did this one was because you guys, I, when I did the ESPN actors, you're like, oh, that, that's a good one. And there's a lot of them. And it's it's tough to interpret, like, which should be on it and which shouldn't. Let me know when you want a hint. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Give us a hint. All right. Hall of Fame wide receiver. Jerry Rice. No. I said that, wasn't that, was, that wasn't ugly. Yeah. It's there forever. Hall of Fame wide receiver. Recent Hall. I got it. I got it. 
Wait, is he in the Hall of Fame? Calvin Johnson and the no, Lions retiring no. early. He just retired because he hated it, but no, he's not in the Hall of Fame yet. It's all right. It's all right. He played in the same time as Calvin. Well, he played before Terrell Calvin. Terrell Owens in every team he was on. <laughs> Literally written down for Terrell Owens and every <laughs> team. <laughs> Number yes! four. That's a great <laughs> pull, nice, animal. Nice, Literally nice. every team. The Niners, Philly, the Cowboys. He was every misunderstood. S- was he? Yeah. He was fucking doing push-ups and sit-ups in his driveway with reporters during training camp. The greatest ever. Everywhere he went, there was an ugly divorce at the end, and I'm that's a that's a great. Yeah, pull. he was out of his mind. He was out of his mind. I tell you what, though, receiver. unbelievable wide receiver. My favorite, unbelievable wide receiver. He's a stud, absolute. He stud. really was good stuff, guys. That oh, let's go. All right, not bad. Dan Schneier. You, you, oh yeah, you before DM'd we, uh, him? yeah, I did. Did he pick? No, I didn't. He did. Before we cap Who'd this episode, take? let me double check and make sure I'm not on the clock. Miles okay. Sanders, what an idiot. Nah. What Tell an your fucking idiot. Giants boy to fucking nah, sack nah. up. I don't like that. Idiot. Shit. Come on, Baker. On One more Dynasty Vipers. Who the um, fuck are the Dynasty Vipers? Oh, let's go, Yanks. I think next week we, uh, I don't know what we're going to talk about, but we'll give you an update on the Woods situation because it's oh, getting, yeah. uh, it's I getting get, to Eric the time. I saw, I saw things we're going to have to talk about. I saw, out Eric and, I saw Eric at the liquor store the other day. And he this goes, shit always sneaks what's, up on me. What's going yeah. on with the, what's going on? Yeah, well, I was like, gonna, I don't know. We're going to figure it out. Well, there's, I've seen a lot of comments and a lot of questions in the live in the live shows. So like I answer it like at least. Four what do we times think? What do we, ask, what do we think yeah. about mid August, like before that weekend? Maybe a little, a little bit, right in between. There. It's it's really just going to come down to like when everyone can get together for the like party. Yeah, because I know I'm fucking. That's half of it. Is like the fact I'm, that I'm, you guys are. I'm out of commission. I'm out of commission. Week Saturdays having like a league party, August, and I'm in the fucking woods like August an asshole. 6th. So. I don't care. I thought, I thought the whole idea was <laughs> to have like people in George's backyard. We all have fun, and he's sitting that's, back there like a loser. That's loser. literally what, that's what I just, he just said. said. If you weren't right. blabbing about your bullshit parties, that you I was to go th- to. no, there's no parties. I'm going on vacation soon. Whatever. Out all of right. Uh, Out of uh, really? Yeah. With who? My friend group. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> July 31st to I think uh, August 6th, 7th, something like that. And then I have a, I have a wedding next week, and then the weekend after that I have. All right, I'm done here. Uh, anyway, please like, please subscribe. Uh, yeah, we got the, the Fade the Public channel. We have uh, Animals House, which is where the set is that you see. Next week we're auctioning something else off too. By the way, Snacks is going to keep auctioning off all his childhood. Uh, yep, sports. It's a, uh, it's a basketball trophy from so, two thousand one. So stay tuned for that. I got so many wrestling medals. It's crazy. We're just going to start auctioning off all of our children's so trophies. Yeah. I have a lot. I have an ice cream eating contest trophy. Do you really? Three years in a row. That's a pretty fish impressive. Trophy. I caught a big fish. I have, a chest, cha- I have a chest championship. I have a chest championship medal. 